Hello, welcome to Mornings at the Allotment. Today I came he up here very early hoping to film uh, some great footage for you, showing you how I put up my brassica netting. And then my neighbor across the main path came and started running some heavy equipment. And then maybe you can hear it, it started to rain. And while I do have um, the umbrella here over the seating area and I can fit myself and the camera underneath, I don't have an umbrella for the camera when I'm out in the garden. So um, yeah, you won't see me actually putting it up, but um, let me just show you what it is that needed to be done and why, and then what it looks like now. All right, so today um, I'm going to have to redo the netting over this bed. I planted the brassicas and covered one bed, didn't cover the other, but I just noticed that I must have missed a caterpillar in there. So I have to take the netting off anyway to look for that because it's been eating the leaves. I hope it's just the one and not several. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to redo the supports. I'm going to make them a bit shorter, but put them um, on both sides of the, of the bed instead of um, in the middle, just to keep the netting off the smaller brassicas that are planted along the edge. And then I'm going to cut another length of the netting for this bed as well. And um, this is what the sky looks like above the plot. So yeah, we did just have a bit of rain and uh, we're forecast more rain. So I'm just going to get all my supplies and cut up the bamboo canes underneath the umbrella, which for once isn't against the sun, but to protect me from the rain. And yeah, there's a kettle on back there. So I'm making myself a cup of tea first. Unfortunately, I'll be doing that again very soon, probably daily now because I found quite a few um, eggs on the undersides of leaves that I obviously missed and I squished all of those, but I didn't find a single caterpillar. So yeah, I'll have to check again tomorrow or m maybe tonight. Um, if anybody knows when they're active and when they start eating, do let me know. That way I can try to find them um, more easily. But at least I've squashed another couple of hundred um, eggs in there. This one is now also covered and there's some excess fabric because I just cut the um, cut the netting to um, two by three meters because my beds are usually a bit longer than this one. So yeah, um, these had no eggs, no damage whatsoever. The only thing we do have here is um, cabbage white fly, but not a lot compared to other parts of the garden and they don't really usually bother even the kale that much. I do squish what I can catch, but um, it I only found five or six in there. So um, yeah, I'm hoping by covering it, I'll keep those out as well because they do damage the leaves and for kale, that's what we want to eat. Um, we don't mind, but um, if we give excess kale away to other people, they want perfect leaves. So, yeah. Yeah, so as you can see, we have quite a few brassicas in the ground already. That's mainly our kales. And um, I still have two pieces of netting um, for the purple sprouting broccoli and then for the broccoli and uh, cauliflower and um, cabbage red and white um, that are still going to go in the ground they're mostly already here just waiting to be planted but i need to get those beds weeded first and i have decided to cover most of what is going in the ground now um, because the damage um, especially those caterpillars can do when you don't net the plants is um, quite extreme. Let me just show you that as well. And here's a beautiful example of what happens when you don't cover it. Um, and I really don't mind because we planted these uh, on purpose for the cabbage whites uh, because we do like uh, to support wildlife, even cabbage whites. Um, 
and this um, is actually planted last winter and then didn't come to anything so yeah it's fine I can live with that and we have some more here interestingly enough this one looks pretty good and the one here on the left looks pretty good and it's mainly the one in the middle that they're eating but in this case I'm actually going to try to find them and take them off uh, because I do want to put more brassicas in this bed at a later time so and finally here's last year's cavalonero that's coming back and that is not all um, caterpillar damage quite obviously but also slug damage so I'm gonna have to do something about that as well try to figure out where they're hiding close to here yeah so in addition to finding slugs I will now be on the lookout for caterpillars on the uh, kale plants that I want to save like this one so yeah cabbage white butterflies and cabbage white fly thankfully we don't have issues with club root here and also not with um, cabbage root fly um, never had it here on the plot and none of my neighbors have it either so we're very thankful for that the cabbage white fly isn't that big of an issue and um, the cabbage white butterfly <sighs> theoretically I could probably manage it without the netting since I'm here daily but it just helps not to have to check every plant daily and uh, as I told you while fil filming that um, they're very hard to find the caterpillars are very hard to find on green leaves um, and apparently I missed some eggs um, when I planted that and put the netting on in the first place so yeah so yeah even though I don't like the look of the netting in the garden we want to eat our food and so I'll be doing that um, in future on most of our plants so I hope you enjoyed this video I know there's lots of brassica netting videos around at the moment but it is a problem that we all have um, let me know in the comments what you do to deal with brassica pests and which ones you actually have um, and also uh, do let me know what else you'd like to see uh, around my garden the July tour won't be for another two weeks um, maybe a tomato update or um, an update on our structures how they're doing um, so yeah just let me know and I'll try to fit that in somewhere bye